Welcome back to MarketMan's video setup guide. Today we're going to go over how to set up our suppliers. This is an essential first step before we add our inventory items into MarketMan and is the best way to get started with MarketMan most efficiently and most successfully. I'm going to go to Supplier Suppliers and right from here I can view all of the suppliers that I have in the system already and I can add a new one just by pressing the Add Supplier button top right. Then what I'll do is I'll type in my supplier's name and I'll press create new supplier if the supplier does not already exist in the system. I can enter in the company phone number, I can enter in a category for my supplier, but this information in the middle of the screen here is gonna be the most important information to fill out. We wanna make sure that our supplier is marked for orders if we plan on placing or receiving any orders from this supplier. I want to fill in the email address and telephone number that I want orders to be emailed or texted to. From here, what I can do is I can also enter in multiple contact information. If I have multiple points of contact at my supplier, all I have to do is just separate them by a comma, and I can type in any amount of emails or numbers that I want. I can enter in a customer number and a minimum order. In this case, it's $300. Marketing will therefore not let me order to this supplier unless it's over $300. If you have a general manager, an owner, a chef, anyone that also wants to be CC'd on all of the orders that are sent to this supplier, you can add in their email address here. Next, I wanna fill out my delivery dates and cutoff times. So in this case, this supplier, I can get a delivery every day of the week, except for the weekend. And in order to get that delivery, I have to place it the day before by 5 p.m. This is a great way to manage all of your suppliers, as you can make sure in the ordering screen that you can only get deliveries for these specific dates that you set up here. You'll also get notifications depending on if the supplier reads your order and opens your order on time. The last thing we want to set up in the supplier section are going to be these check boxes at the bottom. I want to make sure to check the add this supplier to food cost calculation button so that this supplier's inventory items can be included on all of our reports. The last box here, create refund note for price differences. We only want to keep that checked if you automatically want a credit memo generated for price changes from this supplier. If you know that prices are constantly fluctuating and you don't automatically want a credit, I would suggest unselecting this box. Once I filled out all of the information here, I can go ahead and press save. Then I'm ready to start placing and receiving orders to all of my suppliers. If you have any questions, please feel free to visit our website at markcommand.com or email us at support at markcommand.com.